I'm Michael Voltaggio. Welcome to Top Recipe presented by Truvia Sweetener. This week's winning dish from Brooke is a poached sockeye salmon with king crab seafood broth, grilled dill sourdough bread, and a mustard seed caviar. All the locals we spoke with agreed. So the winner is? Brooke. Thank you. Congratulations, Brooke. Thank you. First thing we're gonna do is build our broth. Got here a big soup pot. We're gonna start with adding a couple diced tomatoes, six cloves of garlic. We've got um, two cups of mixed mirepoix, including onions, celery, carrots, and uh, one bulb of fennel. We're gonna pour this into the pot all together. Let that start to sweat a little bit. Now that's gonna sweat. We uh, The recipe that Brooke won with was made with a king crab. We're in California right now, so what we did was make it with uh, the local crab, which is the Dungeness crab. What we've done is uh, partially boiled the Dungeness crab, picked all the meat out of it, and then we're gonna use the shells to put into our seafood broth. Our vegetables are sweating. I'm gonna add our crab shells. So this stuff is starting to roast a little bit in the pan. We're gonna add the rest of the seafood. We've got the collar and the head from our salmon that we've just split. We've got some shrimp. You can use shell on, shell off shrimp. I prefer to use the shell on actually because you'll get more flavor out of it into your broth. Brooke added a few different uh, liquids to this recipe to build the flavor, the depth of flavor in the broth. First thing she's got in here is a quarter cup of gin and that'll add that junipery type flavor to the broth. We've got a quarter cup of uh, dry or white wine. We've got two cups of water. And finally, we have six cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna push this to the back of the stove and we're gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes. This liquid is gonna be the same liquid that we use to poach our salmon in as well. The next part of the dish, I think, is where Brooke showed her creativity. She made a caviar, but she made it out of mustard seeds. So I've got here two tablespoons of mustard seeds and I've got two tablespoons of shallot. I'm gonna put these into a pot, start cooking those together, just sweating them a little bit, toasting them in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna add my one teaspoon of honey. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of red wine vinegar. This is where I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit because we want the mustard seeds to get nice and tender. I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of squid ink and that's what's gonna make it black. Depending on how dry or how fresh the mustard seeds are, you may need to add some water to the recipe as well. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of water to this. Let it simmer for about 20 minutes until the mustard seeds take on the color of the squid ink and the flavors all concentrate together. When it's finished, the mustard seeds should absorb most of the liquid and come out looking very much like caviar. Now, the other ingredient that Brooke used on this dish was a dill sourdough bread. We've gone ahead and made that bread ahead of time. What we did after we made Brooke's bread was just uh, slice it, grill it a little bit, and finish it with a little fresh olive oil. So now our soup's been simmering for about 25 minutes. Turn the heat off, strain it into another pot so that we can use this liquid to poach our salmon. This stock can be a good base for a lot of different recipes. In this case, what Brooke did was she used it for two things. She used it, one, to poach her fish to add more flavor to, to the actual poach, and two, she uses it for the sauce for the dish. So what I'm gonna do is bring this liquid back up to a boil, season my salmon with a little bit of salt. These are probably about five ounce portions. What I think with a filet this size, once we bring this liquid to a boil, I think we can put the fish in, cut the heat off, and just let the fish cook inside that liquid. Now that the broth is boiling, we can add the fish, and at this point you can just cut it off and let the fish gently poach inside that seafood broth. It's gonna take about four minutes to get it cooked medium rare. So the fish has been cooking for about four minutes. So I'm gonna take uh, the fish out, place it in the bowl. I've got two portions here, so put this one off to the side. I'm gonna bring the liquid back up to a boil before I pour it into the bowl because we want everything nice and hot when we send it out. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna grate a little fresh lemon zest into the bowl so that the oil of the lemon's in the bowl, the broth hits it, and it all infuses together nice and flavorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a couple pieces of that crab right on top of our fish and put some of it down around the bottom of the bowl as well. Take some of that hot broth and use that to reheat everything in the bowl again. Put some of that mustard seed caviar right on top. Some of our dill sourdough. Garnish with some fresh dill, fresh olive oil. And that's Brooke's winning dish of poached sockeye salmon with seafood broth, Dungeness crab, mustard seed caviar, and dill sourdough. I'm Michael Voltaggio. Thanks for watching Top Recipe presented by Truvia Sweetener. See you next time.